It's going to be helpful in trying to understand logic as the methodology of philosophy by taking into consideration one particular problem in philosophy. I think it's going to be a good illustration and a good way for us to understand what logic is and what it will do for us. So let's consider the metaphysical problem. Remember, metaphysics deals with the area of reality. And we're going to be talking about fatalism, determinism, and free will. When we looked at what the, this problem of philosophy is, or this central question of philosophy was, we saw that people took one of several positions. That is, two closely related positions were, well, the determinist, or determinism, which was that every event has a cause and we don't have free will. And people took that to lead to the conclusion that a fate well what we call a fatalist conclusion or fatalism that is everything that happens is preordained therefore we don't have any free will and there's nothing for us to do a contrasting position with these two positions is that of libertarianism don't confuse this with political position you might have heard things on the news uh, and in the paper about Rand Paul is a libertarian. It's not a political position, at least the one we're talking about. Libertarianism is, and it's something within political philosophy. But here, with respect to metaphysics, with respect to the problem of freedom and determinism, a libertarian is somebody who believes that we have free will, and therefore our actions cannot be caused. And finally, the last position people can take is what we've called compatibilism or soft determinism. That is, every event has a cause, including our actions, but at least some of our actions are free, and they're going to explain, somebody who holds this view has to explain how you can have a free action even though that action is caused. Now notice these are positions people take with respect to the problem, and I think you guys have some understanding of the problem, and you've written you might you, you've written something about that already. But the question comes up is how do we decide? How do we evaluate the answers, the positions that people are taking? On what basis do we decide between philosophical positions, deciding which one is the right one, which ones are wrong?